are important. Teeth help us eat. Teeth help us talk. Teeth are a part of who we are. Smile. Name five things we can do to keep our teeth healthy and strong. Did you guess all five? Let's see how you did. Brush two times a day in the morning and night. Brush two minutes each time you brush. Brush in a circular way. Don't forget to brush your tongue, too. Floss at least one time a day. Brushing doesn't get the food and germs that get stuck between your teeth. Healthy foods make happy teeth. Name a healthy snack you can eat. Did you guess any of these healthy snacks? Apples, cheese, eggs, blueberries, broccoli, or carrots? Drink lots of water. Water has no sugar. Water washes food and acid off teeth. Water gives you energy. Visit the dentist every six months for a checkup. Mom checked us in at reception. Good morning, how are you doing? Uh, we have a nine o'clock appointment for a new Sunday. We had to wait for our turn to be seen. Pretty soon, Jazz, the dental nurse, came out and took us to meet the dentist, Sarah. I sat on a comfy chair and Sarah asked Mum a few questions. Does she have any allergies? No, she's fit and healthy. Jazz gave me some sunglasses to wear. The lights in here were pretty bright. Sarah had to get ready too. Next, she lowered the back of my chair so she could look at me more easily. She checked my head and neck. First, she showed me the tools she would use. First, this is the mirror. Okay, do you mind holding it? And I got to hold and feel them. And the next instrument is called the probe. Used to count your teeth, so we go with this one, two, three. Then it was time for Sarah to look in my mouth. I opened my mouth as wide as I could to make it easier. She used the little mirror and the probe to look around my mouth and check all my teeth. This felt a bit strange, but it wasn't too uncomfortable. Are you doing okay, Nisha? Next, Sarah showed me the best way to brush my teeth at home to make sure I keep my teeth really healthy. We're going to clean your teeth with a special dentist toothbrush. Let me show you on your fingers if I tickle a little bit. Does that tickle? Yeah. Sarah gave my teeth a really good clean Tickles a little bit on this side, huh? She also flossed between my teeth. After this, she painted something called fluoride on my teeth. Fluoride helps to keep my teeth strong. Now, Nisha, I'm going to sit you up, okay, so we can take some x-rays. X-ray pictures help Sarah See inside and around my teeth. I'm just gonna give you a kiss on the cheek. Hi, do you wanna try? This is the x ray camera. I wore an x ray proof blanket so that only the pictures on my teeth are taken. She put a little film in my mouth and then I had to clench my teeth together and keep super still. Everyone had to leave the room because Sarah only wanted a picture of me. So now, Nisha, we're just going to have to step out. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Then it was all done. Sarah checked the x-ray pictures on her computer and said everything was OK. And best of all, I got a really good present for being brave. Bye, Nisha. See you in six months. Bye.
Beware of sugar bugs. In your mouth live germs called bacteria. These germs are sometimes called sugar bugs. These sugar bugs like to eat sugary foods and foods called carbohydrates, like french fries, potato chips, and crackers. These foods like to stick to your teeth. Sugar bugs make acid after they eat sugary foods and carbohydrate foods. They put the acid on your teeth. Let's see what happens when we don't take care of our teeth and the acid stays on our teeth for too long. What does it do? When a sugar bug's acid stays on your teeth a long time, it will make a cavity. How to keep the sugar bugs away and your teeth happy? Brush and floss. Eat healthy snacks. Drink water right after eating food with sugar in it. Beware of sugar bugs. You don't want to share cavity germs. You can share cavity germs with other people. Here are some things not to share with others. Straws and cups, food, chapstick, spoons and forks. This girl spent the night at her best friend's house but forgot her toothbrush. Has this ever happened to you? Name something you could use to clean your teeth instead of a toothbrush. How did you do? Did you come up with any of these ideas on ways you can brush your teeth without a toothbrush? You could put toothpaste on a clean finger or use a washcloth to brush your teeth too.